I want to discuss a few properties of semi-simple algebras. So first, first of all, let's recall that an algebra is a ring. So it has a sum and a product. And it is also a vector space. So it's a ring in which we have, moreover, a scalar multiplication by some other ring. So then, what is a simple algebra? It is one that has no proper ideals. So the only ideals are zero and the algebra itself, A, and A square has to be non-zero. That's a simple algebra. Now a semi-simple algebra will define as being associative, Artinian, and having a trivial Jacobson ideal. Now, we won't deal with proving that this is equivalent to the algebra being the product, finite product, over of simple algebras AI. The factors of AI can be found through the composition series, and the factors allow us to characterize this algebra in a slightly different way. Since A is this Cartesian product of AI, and each AI has an, a unit, which we will call EI, we can also characterize this algebra as follows. So note that these elements, which we'll call big EI, these are idempotent, and they're clearly central in A. Moreover, we have that each AI can be written as EI times A, that the central idempotents satisfy EIJ is equal to zero for I different from J, and moreover, we have a decomposition of unity. So we can characterize a semi-simple algebra A as having a decomposition in terms of central item potence EI such that basically A is the product of EIA. Now there is a classification theorem of these semi-simple algebras, which is called the Wedderburn Parton theorem, which goes as follows. Suppose we have a semi-simple ring or algebra, then consider it as the as a right module over itself, then because the ring is semi-simple, we can write this as the direct sum of simple ideals, which where each simple ideal ii is inequivalent to a simple ideal ij for i different from j, and each ii appears with multiplicity ni. So then the endomorphisms for this right ring module are just the endomorphisms between these 
II to the power Ni. And then these endomorphisms can be written as a matrix algebra, dimension Ni times Ni, of the endomorphisms of II itself. But now, because II is simple, then the morphisms from which are maps from II to II have to be invertible because other because um, the kernel would be an ideal, a sub-ideal, and the image would be a sub-ideal, and therefore actually this endomorphism needs to be a bijection, and therefore it's invertible. So therefore the endomorphisms form a division ring. Namely, we can invert each element. So what we got, finally get is that the endomorphisms of the right module, which, are, which is nothing but the ring, is equal to the sum of M, N, I, the endomorphisms of I, I, where this is ne necessarily a division ring. So we get a direct, direct sum of division ring matrix algebras. There's an important special case in which we have a finite dimensional division algebra over an algebraically closed field. Like C. And then such a finite dimensional division algebra is uh, necessarily the field itself. And therefore, in this case, the algebra A over this algebraically closed field K is just the sum of matrix algebras over K because we have a finite dimensional division algebra which is this endomorphisms of simple ideals. An example of this is the group algebra of a finite group. So we take all elements of a finite group, give them complex coefficients, and form the straightforward algebra. In that case, we can use this theorem to show that it is a product of matrix algebras, but in fact, this product consists of a number of factors, which is equal to the number of irreducible representations of the finite group, which is equal to the number of conjugacy classes, matrix algebras of dimensions, which happen to be the dimension of the irreducible representations of the group, over our algebraically closed field. So that's an application of the Wedderburn-Arten theorem valid for semi-simple algebras.